Me. What are you doing? Well, I can't afford a shovel because I'm putting all our money into YouTube, so please subscribe. Go! Tyler! Yeah! We got the sport port specs here! Holy shit! Shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! Nate! Holy Jesus! Nate! Nate! Yeah. What were the torque specs? We needed the torque specs. The power button's not working. Oh, I see the issue. It's it not was unplugged. Wait, hold on. Let's, let me look at the screen. Oh. Like oh my god, they make some strong wires. Did you at least get all my stuff off of it for school? I take that as a no. How to properly wipe the computer. Or like if you ever want to like change your back of your uh, the background? Your, your back plastic screen. <laughs> you just pull it off and paint it with some kind of spray paint. Stick it back on. You might need to get a new screen. I think it's usable. That's actually, I'm surprised that didn't shatter. Yeah. When you dropped it by mistake. Oh, that's a bummer. That was a good computer. Put your light on so they can light up there. Hey. YouTube. Let me show you guys how we're up to. We're plugging this training in. Um, we had a good idea because the exhaust is welded and New York State vehicles rust. So we didn't want to take the exhaust off the the exhaust is welded and New York State vehicles rust. So we didn't want to take the exhaust out. So we put the transmission with the belt, um, torque converter in, and we put it up, and we slid the transmission back, huh. and we bolted the torque converter in. Now we just have to slide the transmission forward and put the seven bolts in. Quick and easy. All right. So that's pretty self-explanatory, guys. I don't think you really need a time lapse of it. Not like you'll see what's going on, anyways. We'll give you a, like we'll give you a little time lapse of us messing it up the night before. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. Is it back on? Yeah. Sorry guys, Tyler stopped the video. And the pin is some Yeah, and when, and in case you guys buy a used transmission, just beware. Just make sure to check to make sure those guide pins are out of the old transmission case, or else it'll be a if you look in the time lapse, that's what we dealt with and then we realized what was happening. Yep. Alright. She'll be driving next time we start. Three, two, one. All right, guys. And just like that, it slid in. Yeah, it was just a couple of ugly duggas. <laughs> so, bring your light over here with us. A couple of ugly duggas later. There she is, all bolted in there. Now we have a, where is the box? It's on the back of the trusty yeah, old golf cart. Trusty old Duralax. Duralax is probably the shit brand in the world, but it was only 10 bucks. So we'll put that on there. And we got some transmission uh, cooler flusher. So we'll flush it like your mom flushes her toilet. But we're gonna flush our uh, transmission. Fill it up and we'll be driving it out very, very soon now. 
Yep. This isn't hard. All you really need is a four post lift, and these only run you, what, four grand? Yeah, not even. Yeah, so. You can get one for about five grand. Five grand, okay. Or maybe uh, even a million. Six? Yeah. So, like all you really need to do is two transmission jobs, and it pays for itself. Advantage lifts. Flushing her, baby. The guy before us cut these lines, so it's easy for us, but you would just normally unhook this and just run the whole bottle through. It'll flush all the... That's actually flushing it really good. Yeah, it flushes all the contaminants out. Especially since this guy left that open. Like, yeah, he pinched the lines, but you don't know what crawled up in there. We're just putting the new filter on, and she'll be zooming down the road soon. The last step of the journey is always the hardest. It was a blank to get this... Dipstick. Dipstick tube in. It was like the transmission, though. It wasn't going, wasn't going, then all of a sudden... It's in. Just so never give up, guys. That's all I gotta say. I was at the bridge of giving up, but I never give up. And it, it's, we're adding fluid, as you could see. There's no metal in this fluid, so we bought this at the junkyard. You can buy used transmission fluid. <laughs> <laughs> but they put them in this nice bottles. Yeah, it's only three bucks a gallon at the junkyard. They wanted thirty dollars at the auto parts store. I'm like three bucks. It is. They filter it, I think, right? Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Almost looks like new flu. Transmission, we had to put it in, take it out, put it back in, because we screwed up, but we now know how to do it. And will it start is the question. Will it start? If it starts, it runs. We don't know if it drives yet, but starting is the first issue. All right, we got cap lights. I do want to do it. That's a dead battery. That's a dead battery. Try this little interstate thing. Hey, YouTube. It's a video. Don't worry. Is it still on? Is the camera still on? Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's still a video. Runs. It's got a dead battery, but it runs. It's been cold and we haven't ran it in two months almost. Start it right up. Right off. We have oil pressure. There we go. No engine lights. Hundred and oh, it's back on. Hundred and six k. That I think that's, that's just the battery. battery. Being so dead. Yeah. The sensors are... The ABS light's on, I'm sure. The ABS module needs some soldering, so we'll fix that in the next video. 2,000, it's got the... 106,000 miles with a new, rebuilt transmission. Yep. All right, let's check. The this might be a... If you guys get us to 1,000 viewers... Giveaway. Giveaway truck. Job. Yeah, it's a two-man job here because our buddy Wayne decided bolts don't matter. Oh. Somebody holds it with some.
<laughs> the true question will be reverse now and shifting. Driver. We're driving it. Let's see what it does. First time we're gonna get it to shift out of first. If reverse works. I'm driving her baby. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Pull it in front of his office. Is that in there? No. Where is it? It shifted. Oh my god. It shifted. We did it right. It shifted again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it runs good. Oh my god. It's, I've been being so careful with it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to break her. She shifts good, too. <laughs> Guys, this is sick. Our first transmission swap ever. We've done engines, now we've done transmissions. And like the engine was on an old truck, so that's easier than these. Like this is an old truck, but not a 60s truck. Nate, thoughts? Driving good. 106K, we just need to get the ABS slide off. And she's ready to be sold or given away if you guys get us to our subscribers that we need 1,000. That guy's my first drive. Let's see how she does. Ignore that. That's the sway bar. <laughs> sway bar and like just a little loose. Yeah, that like, that was every second gear right there. <laughs> Tyler. The brakes are starting to feel better too. Yeah. I mean they've just been sitting for two months. But we don't know how long this thing sat too. Like it was parked outside the whole time that the previous owner had it. And that could have been a couple of years possible. We think it was about two years, I think, from what we could see from the car fax it wasn't driven. Six thousand miles. Junk air transmission. Let's see how the radio is. Oh wait, never mind. Copyright issue. We'll do that when you guys aren't here. But alrighty, guys. Next video is going to be fixing this ABS light. We got a junkyard mirror. We got to put on, make it a nice truck, do some rust repair, we'll show you. And then this might be our actual shop truck we'll keep, we'll see. We'll see. We're either going to lift this one or find another one, make a profit on this one and find a nicer one. But you can't get much nicer than a 2000 Lariat. And plus with all the work we put in, it's kind of rewarding to drive something that you put the work into. Yep. Reverse. And it's got the tunnel cover. Not the one we like though, but. All right, guys.
All right. All right, guys, we got the shop trucks lined up. The old digger ringer. Piece of shit. I mean, nice shop truck. Average shop truck. This is the off-roading shop truck. This is the shop truck. The party truck. The TNN shop truck. The one that goes to concerts. Yeah, this is the off-roading shop truck. Then we got our uh, all the junk around town shop truck. As you guys know, we just put the transmission in this shop truck. We fixed up the running boards. We did the old uh, Jack Roo fixer roo. Just don't step on it. <laughs> she starts and runs, all washed up. Cleaned up nice. Then the tow truck, which has been on a tow truck lately. <laughs> yeah, she's seen a tow truck twice. And so she's about to break 10,000 miles. So you know what that means. 10,000. Every one mile that this truck gets, if we get to 10,000 subscribers before the truck hits 10,000 miles, that's a gift for every 10,000 subscribers. So if we get to 10,000 subscribers before this truck hits 10,000 miles. Which that's going to happen in a couple days because we're going to Florida. Yeah, so we're going to give every single one of you a gift. If we hit 10,000 before 10,000. But you only really got like 48 hours. Yeah. So guys, better, <laughs> <in this video. laughs> you better start subscribing start really start. quick. By the time we post it, this will already have 10,000, but we'll, after we post it, 48 hours, because right. in 48 hours we're going to Florida, so. Yeah, we'll be going to Mecham, so stay tuned for a video on that. First, I got to take care of a, a, a minor incident I had over the summer with the boat. I have to go to court for a citation. It's, it's a lot like the whistle and diesel ticket for splashing water. Yeah, I got to go to court for a citation on going one mile an hour over the five limit, five five mile an hour limit. And a 16 of, foot jet boat. Because a Karen called the marine radio on me. So I gotta go take care of that garbage. Then we'll be off. Everybody, this Sylvan Beach is the strictest place around. If, if any of you guys are from New York, you know Sylvan Beach doesn't mess around. 